Hi, I'm Romy. Today I'm going to show you how to use the two and a half buckles to carry your child on your back. Now, there's no real right or wrong as to when you can back carry. Most people tend to wait until baby can sit up unaided just because they're a little bit more robust and it's a bit easier to get there. But that doesn't mean the second they can sit up on edge, you have to put them on your back. You can keep carrying them on the front as long as you want. A lot of people wait until baby's closer to a year, just when you're kind of getting to the stage when you can't quite see over their head and it's getting a little bit more awkward having them on the front. But it's entirely up to you. Some people always front carry, some people start back carrying very early. Key things are that they've got nice clear airways and are held really securely against you in the carrier. So I've got here the two and a half buckle and you, Leave it adjusted exactly the same as you'd have on the front. So I've got it here on the medium width for my kind of nine month old size doll. Um, so you leave the width setting exactly the same as on the front. And similarly, the adjusters to adjust how tall it is, you'd leave similar to on the front. Um, you might want it a tiny bit higher um, if you're wanting them to have their arms in. Um, it's totally up to you though, but generally you leave it about the same. Just notice mine's uneven, so I'm just gonna loosen that one up a little bit. If you're not sure, it's better to have it a little bit taller just so they can have arms in, but you can always adjust it. After you tried it the first time, if you find it was a little bit too short or a little bit too tall, you can obviously adjust it then. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on. So on the front, you'd obviously clip this behind. If it's on the back, you just swivel it round and you do it up on the back. Now, when you're back carrying, you're gonna want baby to be higher than they would be on the front. So on the front, you generally want their head on your upper chest. On the back, you'd ideally like them to be able to see over your shoulders. So the easiest way to work out where to put the waistband is if you think about where you'd wear it on your front, if you wear it about sort of four to six inches higher than you would do on your front, that will give you about the right position. So for me, I've just put that round on my waist, whereas normally for this size of doll, I would wear it down on my hips. Um, obviously it depends on your torso length and how big your baby is as to where you put the waistband. So clip it around and make sure it's snug. And then you wanna make sure it's sitting evenly left to right. So if you reach around, you should have the fabric coming evenly either side. So obviously if it's way around to one side or one to the other, um, just shift it around. And just make sure these are kind of going down flat behind you. Now there are various different ways to get your baby onto your back. And if you watch some of my other back carry videos, you'll see a number of other methods. This is the way that I always found easiest with my two, um, which is the one I tend to demonstrate to parents first, just because you're starting with it in place, so you know it's central, you know it's in the right position to bring up over their back. But obviously if this method doesn't work for you, have a watch of my other videos which show some different methods and see which one works best for you. So I've got this clipped around here and I'm now gonna pick up my baby. So as I said earlier, this is about a nine month old size. And what I'm gonna do is hold them on whichever hip feels comfortable. And then I'm gonna do what's called a hip scoot. So I'm gonna scoot them around from one side to the other. So I'm gonna hold them with the arm on the opposite side. So this arm here holds them across. And then the arm that's on the same side as baby is gonna do like a front crawl movement. It's gonna go up and over. So I'm holding them from the front with both hands like that. Okay. And then gonna bring this arm here, the one on the opposite side around behind and then gently shift them round up and onto my back. So I'm lifting them up so their head is basically on the nape of my neck so they can basically see over my shoulder. So I'm just shift them up and around, check they're sitting nice and comfortably. Always keep one hand on your baby the whole time while doing this. I tend to lean forward as it helps. It does depend on your child. Some children will tend to push away, in which case you probably don't, you probably do want to lean forward. Others we find being more upright. So again, go with what your baby does. And it's worth having somebody to spot you when you're doing this for the first time or obviously doing it by a soft surface just while you're practicing. So I've got baby up here and I'm just checking that even left to right and their bottom is just over the panel there. Okay, so I'm gonna hold them with one hand and then I'm gonna slide my hand under the fabric and straight this up over their bottom as high as I can comfortably. So you're holding the fabric up over their bottom like that. I'm gonna hold them with the other hand and I'm gonna take this strap and I'm gonna bring it out behind and then up and over my shoulder. Now the reason you bring it out behind first is then it stops any fabric getting trapped underneath and means it's nice and snug over their back. So I brought that over my shoulder and then I'm gonna pin that between my knees. Okay, I've still got this hand holding baby. I'm now gonna swap and hold baby with the other hand and do exactly the same with the other strap. So I'm gonna take a strap and bring it out behind. You can see that's now brought that fabric nicely over their back, out behind 
and up over my shoulder. Obviously you can use a mirror if you need to. I'm using my phone as a mirror. Um, and I've got these over my shoulders. I've got one over either shoulder and you can see I've got, I've got my poppers here either side. Generally they should be kind of even because that means it's evenly tightened. It would obviously depend on how your baby is and whether they're leaning one way or another, whether they brought one arm out or one arm in. Okay, so at this stage, just take hold of one strap in either hand and you can release it from between your legs and you can then stand up at this stage. Now, if you need to, you can take the straps and just bring them up and give a little bounce. And what that will do is it will seat your baby nicely down into the seat of the carrier. So at this stage, we're now gonna take these two straps and we're gonna bring them under our armpits and bring them above baby's knees and cross them on their bottom. So this is exactly the same principle as if you were wearing them on the front. So you cross them over their bottom and then bring them under their feet and around to the front and do a double knot like that. Right, now I've done that up, I'm just gonna check that my doll's hands are sitting comfortably. Obviously a real baby can move their arms around, my doll can't, so you either want the arms to come through the side here or come over the top of the carrier. And there's having a little fear to the legs and checking I've got an even amount either side. So can you see that's a little bit lopsided? So I'm just gonna reach my hands inside, give a little bounce and just shift them across. So they're sitting evenly in the carrier like that. It's not a safety issue, it's more about comfort. You obviously ideally want it to support them so they've got the same amount of legs supported on either side. So if you've got a mirror, have a look in the mirror. If not, just feel around and check. If you want to check that ideally their bottom is lower than their knees and that their lower legs can hang straight down. So it's fitting nicely width-wise. Again, if you've been using it on the front, you've got exactly the same width as for the front. You also want to make sure they're nice and snug against you. If you do need to tighten it, if you do feel they're pulling back a little bit, take any slack from here and bring this round and you're literally just going to slide around any slack around behind, bring it across so it then all comes back round to your knot and then you can loosen that and tighten it. So that's essentially how to put them on your back and make sure they're secure. The carrier, the top edge of the carrier fabric um, can go down to their armpits but no lower. So if they want to have arms out over the top, they can have their arms over the top, but make sure it's no lower than their armpits. And maximum height wise, no higher than their earlobes. So they've got nice clear air circulation. So you can see this is going quite high on my baby. Obviously if I wanted them to have arms out, I could tighten those pieces right down so they can bring their arms out over the top. And ideally you want to be able to see them over your shoulder just so you can check they're all right. And then it doesn't mean if they fall asleep, their head can rest in the nape of your neck. Okay, so these straps sit like this. Um, there isn't a chest clip on um, this type of carrier. If you do feel that you'd like to bring the straps across like this, there is a way we can do that. So I'm going to show you that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to undo this. But keep the straps nice and tight. And whichever one you like, you can start with. I'm going to pin the one I'm not using between my legs, so it keeps it nice and taut. Then I'm going to bring this straight up and I'm going to put my hand through the straps on the outside in and grab that piece of fabric. And you're going to bring that through like that. So I've just brought it up and round across. And then I'm going to pin that one between my knees and do exactly the same on the other side. So hand goes through, take the fabric and bring it around. Then I'm going to take each of these and do a double knot across my chest. So what this will do is it will just pull those straps together. Now, some people really like that, other people don't like it, so it's just an option that's there if you would like it. Obviously, still check that they're nice and snug against you, um, check it's all sitting comfortably. So that's just another option for doing this up if you don't want it round your middle or if you want to bring the straps together. Okay, so to get baby out, just going to reverse what we've done. So with this one here, I'm going to just reverse it by pinning one of these between my knees and bring this back through like that and then pin that between my knees and do the same with the other. So obviously if you haven't threaded it through here, this position now is how you'll be after you've undone it. Okay, so you're going to put one between your knees, bring this one back round and over your baby and keep it nice and taut, but then I'm gonna swap them over. So I'm gonna hold this in my hand, release that one, bring this round behind. <clears throat> okay, so I've now got both at the front. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can 
hold baby and bring these both back over your shoulders or you can hold on to these and slide them around in the carrier. It's totally up to you. If you're gonna slide them around within the carrier, just loosen the waistband a bit. Again, I find it easier just to remove the carrier, otherwise you've got a lot of stuff moving together. But if you do want to, you can hold on to these, release the waistband and hoist them around, still holding on to it. Just keeps them a little bit more secure. But the way I'm gonna do it is, I'm going to pin one of these between my knees, hold baby with one hand and bring this off over my shoulder. Okay, so I can hold them on the inside of the material. Then I'm going to release this one between my knees and bring that one off. So I'm holding them on the inside. Then I can slide them back round onto my hip and onto my front. So that's one method of using the Tula half buckles to carry a baby on your back. I hope it was helpful. If you want to look at some other methods of getting your baby on the back, then have a look at my other buckle carrier videos. Although this one's got the straps. It's a very similar method, even if you've got the actual straps. So have a look at some other methods if you'd like to, and I hope that was helpful.